Okay, so right now it's just up here on the board. All right. And what I want to do is I want to talk to you specifically right now about a formula. All right, I'm going to make myself a little room right here on the top so I can write out the formula for you. Um, now, again, to be perfectly honest with you, we had a whole lesson in uh, sixth grade and a whole lesson in seventh grade on <clears throat> percent of increase or decrease. Does anybody remember what the formula is? Oh, it's like um, it's mu minus old divided by or divided by mu uh, two times one hundred. Well, I, you're almost there. You're almost there. I, I'm pretty happy with that. So listen, as you get older. Right, and you understand math a little better, we just simply say it's the change divided by the original amount. All right? So the percent of increase, I need you to write that on your paper at the top, super important. The percent of increase or decrease is equal to the change divided by the original amount. Now, again, what you were thinking of is then you multiply it by 100 because the change divided by the original amount is a decimal. All right, but then we want it as a percent, so you just move the decimal two places to the right or you multiply by 100. All right, so again, very, very, very important. But what I'm going to try to do with you guys today is listen to me. I'm going to try to go down to the odds, and then in the other class, I'm going to do the what? Even. even. So over the weekend, when you have to do the evens for homework, you can. If you have trouble, you can look at, or you can listen to the video, or you can look at the solutions. All right? Is everybody with me? All right, super important to knock this out. <coughs> so here we go. Take out your calculator. All right? So I want to figure out what the percent of change is. Now, is this going to be an increase or a decrease, obviously? Increase. I'm not going to ask you on the test, is it an increase or a decrease? You just, if, we don't, if you don't know that, I'm not sure how you can get a problem right. All right, so let's look at this. What is the change? How do I figure out what the change is? What do I do? Yeah, you just subtract them. Or are you ever going to have a negative answer? No, I don't want you to get a negative answer. All right, it's always the difference between the two. All right, so what's the difference between these two? 47 divided by what? Divided by what? Divided by what? Um, wow, you guys are not even listening. It's the change divided by the original. The change divided by the original. So in this particular case, 47 divided by 78 is what? Decimal. Just read them off. Point. Come on, man. I see you in the hallway screaming and yelling, and now you're, I'm asking you to tell me some numbers, and you're like, I can't hear you. Six, just speak up. Well, just keep telling me. Beautiful. Okay, so that would be the answer. All right, now obviously that's not what we want. All right? I would like for you in this class to round to the nearest tenth of a percent. So when you round to the nearest tenth of a percent, you are actually looking at the third decimal place. So I would like for you to tell me that this answer is roughly what? 60 point, 60 point three percent. Now look, if you're having trouble rounding numbers, we can go back to fourth grade. Okay, you can think back to those good old days when you thought rounding was difficult. All right. Now, again, I it says round to the nearest whole percent. I don't like rounding to the nearest whole percent. Nowhere you will be rounding to the nearest whole percent. All right. Generally, it's to the nearest tenth of a percent. So sixty point three is good. Is everybody good with that? All right. So we're doing the what today? Odds. Odds. So here we go. So. Number three, what would be the change? Oh, two. two divided by six. six. Now I'm hoping everybody here just says, well, that's obviously 
33 and one third percent. How do I know that? Because on my calculator, string of threes is 0.3 repeated, <coughs> which is the fraction one third. I would like everybody to know that 2 6 reduces to 1 third, which is the same as 33 and 1 third percent. Everybody okay with that? Yes. All right, you should understand that. Speak up now if you're not sure. I'm asking you to let your calculator do the work also. All right? Let's jump down to number five. Now, it says the distance from Phoenix to Tucson is 120 miles. So here's what I want you to write down. Phoenix to Tucson is equal to 120 miles. The distance from Phoenix to Flagstaff is 21.7% longer. So I'm going to put Phoenix to Flagstaff. Notice it's a little bit longer. So what would that distance be? What would the distance be? Now you're supposed to be able to use your calculator, what right? So it shouldn't be a big deal to figure this out. Wait, how much longer? Um, no, not it doesn't say how much longer. Oh, okay. It says what is the distance from Phoenix to Flagstaff? Now, how would I do that, Jack? You do 120 miles times 1.2. Now listen to me. That is excellent work which means you actually learned what I asked you last year. Because we're not asking for the difference, correct? We're asking in the 100% plus the what? The 21.7%, which is 121.7%, which is the same as 1.217. Now, I said a lot right now. Carly, did you understand that? 100% plus... The 27 percent, or I'm sorry, the 21.7 percent is 121.7 percent. Do you agree with that? And then I just move it two places to the left. Oh, it does move it two places. Yeah. Because we're dealing with a percent. There's no percent button on your calculator. All right. Well, there might be, but we don't use it. Do you hear me? So you just, in your head, mentally, is 1.217. Do you understand me now? Carly, do you understand me now? Girls up front. So now take your calculator and multiply 120 times 1.217, and that would be what? 146.12. Beautiful. Thank you very much. That's important, Alex. Thank you. Now look, you know... From experience, I get frustrated if you wait till the end before you start asking me questions. If this doesn't make sense, now would be a time to ask. Nobody has an issue. All right, so let's take a look now <clears throat> at question number seven. Now here I've been frustrated because you walk into the store and you pay $35.99 for a video game and there's 6.7% tax, and some of you don't know what you have to pay. Well, we all know what we have to pay. How would I figure that out, Max? Oh, wait, which number are we doing? We're on number seven. Um, so we go 35, 35 99. 35.99. Now listen to what he's saying. Times 1.0675. Exactly. Thank you very much. Does everybody understand that? Hold on one second. So I understand that because you have to pay for the game plus you have to pay the what? You have to pay the sales tax. The store does not pay the tax, you pay the tax. What? How did you get one point? I just get one. Okay, so watch this. When you buy something, you have to pay what percent? 100%. Plus you have to pay the tax. So you have to pay 106.75%. Oh, you just added And then what do I do? Move it back over two places. You with me now, right, yeah. Colin? I understand. Max, what? Oh, what number are we supposed to do? I don't, just, come on, man. Just let's do the odds. That's what we're doing in class. So what do I do when I multiply that? What do I get, somebody? Yeah, but we round to the nearest penny, though, when we're talking about money. 
Somebody said $38.42 or $38.42. Anybody agree with that? $38.42? Everybody good? I don't think that's that bad. All right, good little review here. All right, now I'm on number nine. Computer game cost $49.95 plus 6.25% sales tax. What is the total cost of the game? All right, Kate, you're up this time, kiddo. What do I have to do? You're awesome so far. Now, what if I told you it was 1.06? Oh, yeah. You with me, right? Because if you say 6, that would be a 60%. Make sense? Oh, I right? Now multiply that out, Kate. Tell me what you got. <coughs> so it would be $53 and? Um, You're awesome. Anybody else get that? Because I'm not doing it. Yes. 5307. Come on, guys. This is not that hard. But now we're getting to the easy ones, so I want to do the easy ones and make sure you're good. Um, it's maybe a dumb question. No, no, come on, just ask. Okay. I don't have to preface the, it with that. So 6.25, how did you get the 1.0? 100% .0? represents the number 1. So 1 plus 0 0.0625. Do you hear me or not? Come on, come on, come on. Let me explain you me? You pay 100% plus you pay 6.25%. Does that make any sense? When you go into a store, what percent do you have to pay? If you don't pay 100%, you're essentially what? Stealing. Stealing. So when something's on the shelf, you have to pay what percent? You pay 100%. Right? You also have to pay the what? The tax. So you have to pay 100% plus you have to pay an additional 6.25%. So you just add 100%. Yes. So 100% plus 6.25 is 106.25. Then you move the decimal two places to the left. Why do you do that? Because it's per 100. So take 106.25 and divide it by 100 on your calculator. Quickly, come on, come on, chop, chop. 106.25 divided by 100. What, stop. What did we get? 1.0625. Okay. Now listen to me. Don't be mad at me. If you don't participate, you don't know. Right? I'm asking you to do things on your calculator. I promise you, it's the same thing over and over. You can change and be a great math student. Anybody. Anybody can be great. You have to ask questions when you don't know something. It's pointless to sit there and not know something. That's why I appreciate you asking me. All right? Now, I want you to say, that makes perfectly good sense now, or do I need to say something else? Good. All right. Hold on a minute. What? So. Just to make sure, uh, after you got the one, uh, one point oh sixty five, what did you uh, do to get the fifty three? You don't see it right up there on the board. This right here. Oh, oh you, you don't see that. Oh, you want. Oh, you want. Try it and see. That's what I need you to do. Trust yourself. All right. Multiply that out and see if that's correct. All right. Now we need to move forward. What? What? Okay, so let's look at, now, I have a problem now on number 11. Yes. In this case, instead of it being tax, we're talking about a what? A discount. So when you walk into the store and something says 25% off, instead of paying 100%, you only have to pay what now? You have to pay what as a percent, though you're correct, but what percent would it be? You only have to pay 75%. Listen to what I'm saying now. It's embarrassing. 
when you walk into a store and you can't tell me what you have to pay. If something's on the shelf that says 25% off, that means you only have to pay what? 75. You only have to pay 75% of it. So all I have to do, Jesse, is do what? Um, you do 22.95 and then multiply it by 0.75. That's it, kiddo. That's all you have to do. All right, that's all you have to do. And tell me what that is. Seventeen dollars and twenty-one cents. Any objections to that? No. Makes sense, right? Yeah, now look, guys, you should definitely be interested in this because this is what you have to do every time you buy something. All right, here we go. Thirteen. All right, now it says for 13. Making myself some room here. Again, the word problem is generally a little bit harder, but not for us. It says, tickets to the county fair are $8 for adults and $5 for children. If you have a 15% discount card, how much would two adults and two chop tickets cost? Now look, all I want out of you is the solution. Somebody tell me what the answer is. Jake. Um, uh, I don't care about how to do the problem. I want just the answer because I think everybody in here is smart enough to tell me an answer. Let's go. Right. Everybody. Everybody tell me the answer. Jay. I got $23.10. $23.10. I'm not saying he's right. What? I got, 20, I, I got $22. Yes, I got $22. $22 in what? Ten cents. $22.10. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying they're right. No, no. I... Don't do that. Come on, girls. Chop, chop. Don't write the answer. What? So you have to tell me how did I do that. Okay. So you get, I um, added 8 plus 8 and 5 plus 5 together. And that is? That is, it was 26. There you go. And then you do 26 times um, 25. Exactly. Exactly. That makes sense. Yes. Right? Com what, Will? No, I think I got it. How do I, what, how, why do we get 0.85? I got it. Wait, what? How did you get 0.85? Because you did. Um, how did we get this 15? Or how did we you, get that to 85? You added up the. Um, Numbers $26 came from the 8 and the 5. I'm asking how do I get the total bill, which was $22.10. How did I get that? What? How did I do that? Yeah, uh, you got a 15% discount. So instead of paying 100%, you only have to pay what? 85%. And 85% written as a decimal is what? 0.85. Come on, guys. Come on. Boys in the back. Obvious. You good on that? 13. Everybody happy? Now, take out your handy-dandy calculators. 15. Let's go. Chop, chop. I want the answer to 15. And I'm going to have... Allison is going to do 15 for me. What's the change? Good job, girl. Go ahead. Tell me. Six over ten. Six over. Look here. Yes. Come on now. Come on now. Six over 16. Beautiful. Now tell me what that decimal is real quick. Which is what percentage? Thirty-seven. Yay, girl. Come on. Come on. Be loud and proud, girl. 37.5%. Beautiful. Vivian, you're up. Number 17. What do I do? Um, okay. So, 
And get it that as? All right, now remember we're rounding it to the 10th percent. So what is that? What's after the two? Okay, okay, okay. So you're telling me that's seventy-seven point two percent. Is that what you're telling me? Somebody got to verify. Is that right? Seventy-seven point two. Yes, that's correct. I got seven. Yeah, seventy-seven point eight. Come on, guys. Everybody, do seventy-one divided by ninety-two on the. No, I think. I'm just asking you again. Oh, I got, I got 77 divided, 71 divided by 92. Just trust me. Just That's not too much to ask. Type it on your calculator. 71 divided by 92. Is that 77.2%? Everybody can verify. Everybody. All right. Now I'm on number 19. Give me Colin. All right. Look up on the board. What do I do for this? All right, for 19, you need to do 11 minus 25. Which is, mental math that. That is 14. Divided by. 11. And tell me what that is. One. You got to, oh, good for you, buddy. 127.3. Wow, I'm happy with you. But I want somebody to verify. Yes, yes. Don't just take his word for it. He's normally right, but is that accurate? All right, I'm happy. All right, 21. Will, Genuine, let's go. Okay. 21, what do I do? Um, so you have to subtract 40 from 25. Uh, yep, and what do I get? So you get um, 19. Divided by? Divided by um, the, um, or the 40. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 21. Are you asking me or are you telling me? Tell me. All right, 21, beautiful. So, what's that? Okay, um, that. Mm -hmm. Um, 9.45. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You move it two places to the right. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you move it two places, then it will be 90 point. Uh, 90 point. 4.7. So it would be? 90 point 5. 90 .5. Good? Yeah. All right. Come on. Come on. All right, I'm on 23, another word problem here. Okay, put a star by number 23. All right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I am going to let Jake, I want you to read it. All right. I want to see how smart you are. Okay. Go. Let me just read it out. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, right. it's right. B is whatever. Okay. Okay. Shopping for a car. The cost of the new car is $15,500. This is 25% greater than the cost of the used car. What is the cost of the used car? Uh-oh, we got some problems here. How do I figure this out? This one's a hard one, so put a star by this one. What do I do? Um, well, the, the way that I did it um, is um, uh, I, I kind of, I, I can't speak right now. Yeah, um, I hear I, you. Uh, Multiplied it by like you know, use twenty five percent as a discount instead. You know what? I'm gonna tell you something. Mm -hmm. I made a mistake mm -hmm. earlier. I did that too. All right, I did that too. I, I thought it was comparing, but listen to what I'm saying. This fifteen thousand five hundred represents the new car, right? Right. <laughs> now listen to what I'm saying. Please listen, and I appreciate you. I know. I I think you got it. Just listen to me. Let me say it. Because I want to try not to confuse anybody in here. Anybody pay attention? Now look, I'm telling you, you got to listen. Listen, listen. It's an important one. It's very easy to do what Jake did because it's exactly what I did. All right? They're giving you the cost of the what? The new car. Right? So the new car is $15,500. This is, which means that it is equal to... 25% more than the used car. So I don't know what the used car is. 
But I know if I multiply the used car by what? What, Max? No. Yes, not 100, but 1.25. Now, look, guys, I really need you to concentrate up there because I understand what you guys are saying. And I'm trying to tell you the – listen to me, Jake, and those of you guys who did 75% like I did at first. I made a mistake. Listen, we're comparing the new car, right, in relation to the used car. The new car is 25% more than the old car, which means that it's the used car times 1.25. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Right? Now, if you add 25%, is it the same as subtracting 25%? Hear me? No, not the same. All right? So this is how I want you to think about it. All right? So now, mathematically, to solve that, all I have to do is divide both sides by... 1.25. Everybody divide by 1.25 and tell me what do I get? Tell me. Good job, buddy. 12,400. Divide? Of course we divide. Tell me why. Because it's our equation, right? So to solve for use, we divide. Did you see that, Colin? All right, that was pretty nice. All right, so after 23, let's continue on. 125, so you're allowed to use a calculator. So who hasn't spoken today? Everybody got a chance? Ben, thank you. How do I do 25? Uh, I want the total price, Ben. So you have to 28. Um, Wait, I'm on 25, though. Don't no, we'll be sorry. I know you are. Just tell me what to do. Uh, forty-five dollars times .05. You are awesome, buddy. Forty-five times one point zero five five. And do you have a calculator today? Okay, well, type it in quickly. Tell me what the answer is, please. Uh, $47.48. $47.48. Anybody agree with that, please? I got that. You boys in the back, are you agreeing with me? Mm -hmm. Come on now. All right, 27. Allison's on 27. You're on 29. What do I do? You are awesome, girl. Good job. Type that in, please. Round to the nearest penny. Anybody agree with $27.31? Boys in the back, you agree with me? Uh, yes. Bragdon, yes. how am I doing? 29, go. Wait, okay. Six, 29. <coughs> Wait a minute, are we doing 29? Yes. Yeah, we're okay, tell me what to write, type in on my calculator, Miss Bragdon. Good job. 9.99 times 1.0675. Carla, you're coming up here soon, so you better be ready. I can't hear you. What? Oh, oh give me a break. 10.61. I hear you yelling at your mom louder than that. All right, here we go. 31. Um, yeah, that's right. Kate, you're up. So what am I doing? Um, six, eight, three, 
Mm -hmm. Now listen to me, look right here, carefully, it's a discount. Yes, 89.99 times 0.85, brilliant. Now I want the answer. Don't take our word for it, you should be doing it on your own. Anybody else get 76.49? All right, I'm happy. All right, 33. Yes. Um, so you do 24 and then you do times point 67. Yay, girl, good job. Tell me what that is. Um, it's 16.42. Anybody else get that? All right. What? How did you get points? Come on, 100 minus 33. Come on, do it on the calculator. Chop, chop. 100 minus 33. True? It's a discount. We're subtracting. All right, who did I say was close? Carly, you're up. Thank you. 35. Tell me how to do 35. You better be right or you're coming in at after school. Okay, Mr. Shaw. Um, well, I know you're going to get it wrong on purpose. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, 14.99 times... <clears throat> About it. Um, 20% 20 discount. So what, what do you have to pay if you get a 20% discount? Come on, girl. Um, then you only pay 80%? That's right. So the decimal for 80% would be what? 28. Yeah, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Tell me what the answer is now, please. 11.99. Did anybody else get 11.99? Yes, yes, I did. All right. Happy days, happy days. Uh-oh, 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 37. I need someone brilliant for 37. I said someone brilliant, Jake. All right, Jake, go ahead. 37, tell me how to do it, man. This one's the hard, not really because you have a calculator. So what do I do? Tell me. Um, so first, well, first you get the discounted price. So you do 60. Um, 60 times uh, point seventy five. Don't put don't put things up yet. And then what? And then after uh, after you get the discounted price, which is don't, I don't care about that. Look up on the board. <laughs> then I'm going to multiply then that then by you multiply by the tax, which is going to be what number? I'm very proud of you, buddy. One point zero six seven five. Now, could I have left him alone and let him get that and then do the tax? Yes, but I'm trying to show you. Look up, look up, look up, look up. Do you need? Do you need to hit the equal button here? No. You just multiply that straight out. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Would you be wrong if you hit the equal button? No. All right? Carly, did you hear what I just said? Yeah. So when you go into the mall now and you buy all your stuff and they're saying there's a discount and they're selling the taxes here, you now know what you have to pay. You don't just give them a bunch of money and hopefully they give you the right amount of money back. I know how some of you are. Just say, okay, how much do I owe you? And just give them all your money. And they say, thank you very much. And you walk out of the store. And you just got robbed because you don't know how to find out how much money you owe. So don't get robbed anymore, Miss Bragman. They don't rob you. Oh, yes, they do. Trust me. Trust me. Really? They're inaccurate more than they are accurate. That's pretty sad. All right. So here we go. Multiply this out. 60 times 0.75 times 1.0675, which is what? 48.04. Whoa. In harmony up here, what do we got? 48.04. And I almost heard you. $48.04. Anybody agree with that? Anybody agree? Anybody agree? Okay. 
So now listen to me. Um, what I want you're responsible for now is this. Because we missed class, you guys got to knock this out over the weekend. And it's super important. So you have to do the what? Evens. Evens. All right? You have to do the evens. Now, if you like my lesson so well today, you can just listen to the video again on the evens. And that will be for the next class. All right? But I have given you the what? The workout solutions. I want you to check them. Now, I'm letting you use a calculator. But notice what I did every time. I wrote down what the solution was or how I got the solution. I don't want you just to write down all the answers and think you're, you know, talented like that. Jeez. Write the work. Jeez. All right, I'm walk, sure. write the work out like that. Um, I think I said I wanted you to go up to, let's do this, uh, up to 40. Okay. Two through 40 evens. Two through 40 evens. And boys, you guys almost done back there? Yeah. yeah we already finished.